Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't have to, and today we are talking about how the PLTR stock, which is currently around $13 right now, could 3x. So we are looking at around a $39 price target for Palantir Technologies by 2025. We're going to be reviewing this article to determine if this is actually achievable. We'll be going over the latest news for Palantir Technologies as well as their price target. So for more videos on Palantir Technologies, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down down below. And without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So if you didn't know, Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, is a big data and analytics company that serves both government agencies as well as commercial enterprises. And currently the stock price sits at around $13 to $14, while the low end 12 month analyst price target is $9. The average analyst price consensus is $15 and the high end bullish price target for the next 12 months goes as high as $25 per share. However, this author thinks that the stock price is going to shoot up to around $39 by 2025. So let's actually see what he has to say. In his previous article, he actually gave the PLTR stock a neutral rating due to their stock-based compensation program. However, after about a month of further thought, he upgraded his Palantir stock price target from a neutral rating to a buy rating of $39. He says Palantir continues to improve and they are growing at an astonishing rate. And they also have strong projections and guidance for their future stock price appreciation as well as their revenue forecasts. He also tells us that their stock-based compensation problems have mostly been solved, and I've done multiple videos about this, so he says that Palantir is clearly moving in the right direction. He also mentions how Palantir Technologies is very strong financially, and he believes that if investors invest right now, that they could literally triple their money by 2025, which would make it a 3x return. So let's see what assumptions he makes to see if this is plausible and if we should invest into Palantir. Palantir Technologies. So he brings up their most recent earnings report where it says that their revenues grew by around 41% for the full year of 2021 because they brought in around $1.5 billion worth of revenues. They also had a very impressive net dollar retention rate of 131% while also growing its total customer base by around 71%, which is extremely important for a growing company not only to add new customers, but also have a high net retention rate for those customers. And the reason for this is because once Palantir obtains a new customer, it will not only be very difficult for that customer to switch to another platform later down the road, but Palantir actually will upsell its products to that customer, which just brings them deeper in the rabbit hole. And this is mainly because Palantir's technology is very sticky, so it would actually cost that company more to find a replacement for Palantir's technology instead of just continuously doing business with Palantir. The author also correctly points out that they have fantastic margins, particularly their gross margin of 83% and their adjustment operating margin of 29% plus very strong overall revenue growth. More importantly, he says that they are reiterating a long-term growth forecast of over 30% annually for their revenues from now until 2025. This shows great confidence from Palantir's management and it should also give confidence to their investors. Now, for me personally, I like the big data and analytics space because the world and companies as well as government agencies and organizations are heavily reliant on the process of data and data analytics. And because data is the new oil, companies that either store data such as Snowflake or process data such as Palantir Technologies is going to be very fundamental for this next generation of companies. But now let's look into his price target of how the PLTR stock can literally 3x. He draws a comparison between software as a service companies, growth companies, startup technology companies, and big data companies. He says that they all have something in common, particularly that they all receive very high valuations. And the reason for these higher valuations is because investors are investing into these companies due to the result of their future growth expectations, not necessarily what the company is worth right now, particularly if these companies are involved in a massively and rapidly developing industry that has a huge addressable market. Two examples that the author highlights is Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM, which I am a huge fan of. I own a lot of CRM stock, and they are a cloud-based software company that's trading at around 46 times their forward price to earnings, even after their most recent drop of 30% in their overall stock price from their peak. On the other hand, we have companies like CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRW, which I also did a video on, and they are one of the leaders in the cloud-based security services, and their forward price to earnings ratio is around 200. Therefore, he believes that Palantir should be trading at a forward PE ratio of around 50 to 60 
times their forward earnings. And that is the main assumption that he is going to be operating off of to achieve his 3x or $39 price target by 2025. But he also walks us through some other fundamentals and financials for Palantir Technologies. However, these are very straightforward. But remember, the main assumption is that Palantir is going to operate off of a PE ratio of 50 to 60, which to me is kind of bullish. However, it is definitely possible, especially when we compare Palantir to other companies. He says that if Palantir grows at a 30% CAGR or compounding annual growth rate for their revenues until the end of 2026, that would put their revenues at around $5.72 billion, which is a conservative estimate. If we also assume around 25% margins, which is a very conservative and realistic assumption, on top of the company reporting net income of around $1.43, if we apply this to their 50 to 60 times their forward price to earnings ratio, this would mean that they would have a market cap of around 71 to 85.8 billion dollars particularly if we take their current market cap right now, which currently sits at around $28.13 billion. So if we multiply that by three, we can get the answer of around $84.39 billion, which would equate to a little over $39 for his price target. And this is his main thesis regarding about why he thinks Palantir Technologies could easily be worth $39 by 2025. I do think this is a realistic price target, but again, we are operating off of the assumption of a 50 to 60 forward price to earnings ratio. So if you can stomach that PE ratio, then this is very realistic. However, if you are uncomfortable with that initial assumption, try playing around with the numbers and see what price targets you personally come up with. Then he moves on to Palantir's stock-based compensation program, which has been decreasing for the last couple of quarters. And this is a clear indication that says that the company is moving in the correct direction. I also want to point out that the CEO, who is Alex Karp, literally says that Palantir here is a company that is built for bad times, and as we see geopolitical tensions rise, particularly because of the war between Russia and Ukraine because Russia invaded Ukraine unprovoked, this has caused a massive ripple effect throughout the global economy. Russian stocks are crashing, this has affected commodity prices, and it has even impacted other stock markets across the world. This actually makes countries want to shift away from globalization and start to rely on themselves instead of foreign companies and countries to do business with. And this is really good for Palantir Technologies because Palantir is very centralized in the United States. However, they do try to help out the United States allies. Also, the author rightfully points out that the company is very strong financially. For instance, they have around $2.3 billion worth of cash and or cash equivalents on their balance sheet and around $3.25 billion worth of total assets. They virtually and basically have no debts and their liabilities are less than $1 billion. So financially, the company is extremely solid. Fundamentally, the company is also solid. And Palantir, to me, has very good technology that is extremely sticky, which makes this author, as well as myself, very bullish on this company. However, what are the risks of investing in a Palantir Technologies? Well, the first risk is basically the market's representation of Palantir Technologies. Palantir's name has been drugged through the mud by a plethora of various financial institutions and even analysts. And it really didn't help out Palantir when Kathy Wood of ARK Invest actually sold and liquidated her Palantir stock. However, I believe eventually Kathy Wood could buy back into Palantir Technologies. However, that is just a hunch and time will have to tell. On the other hand, the author actually believes that Palantir's government business has capped out, that we are going to start seeing a recession and a slowing growth rate for their government business. However, on the flip side, we are going to see ample momentum over on their commercial side and in their commercial segment. And I 100% agree with this. Their commercial business is going to be the key not only to profitability, but it will allow Palantir Technologies to continuously scale as time progresses. And that's why I personally am very bullish about Palantir Technologies. But I do believe that Palantir Technologies isn't going to pay off for me until the next four to five years. And I am anticipating this, so I don't really care what the stock price is going to do between now and three years from now, I don't even care if it goes down to $5. I will hold the company until the company becomes profitable, which they're projected to become profitable around 2024, and then after that I will reevaluate the company to determine if I want to keep it long term, but I already think that I am going to keep it long term because I am bullish on Palantir Technologies. But with that being said, you always have to be careful about the single stocks that you invest into. Even though I am bullish on Palantir, it might not fit into your personal portfolio, because to me this is a long 
long-term hold. And if you want to invest into Palantir Technologies for a quick stock price appreciation or a quick gain or a trade, this probably isn't the stock for you. Also, I want to mention that I do not allocate more than 5% of my portfolio to any one single stock because to me, that's just proper risk management and that's what I've been taught. And it has saved my hide multiple times from taking on unnecessary risk, which is why I don't have unnecessary losses. But overall, I think Palantir has very strong demand for their sticky software. The company is very fast growing. Their stock-based compensation platform is continuously decreasing compared to their other metrics that are increasing. And there is a very high probability that Palantir Technologies and the PLTR stock could reach $39 at or even before 2025. That's why this author is very bullish on the company and they rate Palantir as a buying opportunity right now. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Remember to smash that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below about Palantir Technologies. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.